What's happening right now in Mecca is beyond belief. The holiest city in Islam has been swarmed by a catastrophic plague of locusts during the holy month of Ramadan. But is this just a freak of nature or a divine intervention? Something remarkable happened in the just concluded fast of Muslims at Mecca. Many people consider it a prophetic sign while others think it's a miracle. I'm going to show you all the videos associated with this event. Locusts invaded Mecca, the most holiest site in Islam. This happened at the end of their holiest month, Ramadan. In this video, you can see people reacting to the inconvenience of the insect on people. It's all over the floor. It's not a good sight to behold. It is all over the place. They are moving in groups, in numbers. So what is really going on here? This is an infestation. But why here? Why Mecca? Why just after the fast? If you don't know, Ramadan is a month of fasting and prayer and reflection for the community of Muslims around the world. They abstain from eating, drinking, smoking, or anything that's impure or excessive from dawn until sunset. It's one of the five pillars of Islam, and Mecca is the most holiest site in Islam because Muhammad, the founder of Islam, was born in Mecca. And it is toward this religious center that Muslims turn five times daily in prayer. It is expected that all devoted and able Muslims attempt a Hajj, pilgrimage, to Mecca at least once in their lifetime. Also, the great mosque of Mecca, known as the Masjid al-Haram, is home to the Kaaba. The Kaaba, the black cube, is the most sacred site in Islam, known as the sacred Beit Allah, House of God. It is located at the heart of the sacred mosque, Masjid al-Haram, in Mecca, Saudi Arabia. The Kaaba is believed by Muslims to have been built by Abraham and Ishmael. It is one of Islam's holiest sites and the direction of prayer for all Muslims. Every year during the Ramadan season, many people come to celebrate and partake in the fast. So, why would locusts invade such a holy site? It is a question in the heart of many. This is because in Islam, in Christianity, Judaism, and Buddhism, locust infestation is considered a sign of judgment or punishment. The Bible and the Quran, the holy books of two of the most followed religions on earth, have described and referred to locusts as menacing and strong creatures that bring misery to those facing its wrath. So is this a sign of punishment or judgment in Mecca? Muslims online believe it is a miracle. What do you think this is, a miracle or a sign of punishment? In the Quran, verse 133 of chapter 7 says, So we let loose upon them the flood and the locusts and the lice and the frogs and blood, all explicit signs, but they were too arrogant. They were a sinful people. Here the Quran says it's a plague. First, it talks about the flood. Videos of flooding in Mecca have been circulating the internet, which you can see here. Torrential rain accompanied by hailstorms and flash flood in Mecca. And now low cost? Yet they say it is a miracle? But the Quran says it is not a miracle. It even says the people were arrogant and sinful. When God was dealing with Pharaoh, he told him in the book of Exodus, chapter 10, verse 4, If you refuse to let them go, I will bring locusts into your country tomorrow. You already know the story of how Pharaoh refused to let the children of Israel go. And one of the punishments God brought on Egypt was an invasion of locusts. Exodus chapter 10 verse 12 says, And the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hand over Egypt, so that locusts swarm over the land and devour everything growing in the fields, everything left by the hail. In the Bible, the book of Nahum, chapter 3 verse 15 says, There the fire will consume you, the sword will cut you down, they will devour you like a swarm of locusts, multiply like grasshoppers, multiply like locusts. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 38 says, You will sow much seed in the field, but you will harvest little, because locusts will devour it. This, in fact, establishes that locusts have been known to wreak havoc for a very long time. The visitation of locusts is not something to celebrate or a miracle. It should be a time of reflection. It is a warning that something is wrong. Now, this isn't the first time that Mecca has been infected with some type of bug. Just a couple of years ago, in 2019, a locust actually infested the site. Here's a video from January 14th, 2019 that says, A swarm of what appears to be locusts descend in a flurry on the Grand Mosque in Mecca, Saudi Arabia. 
The flood is a warning, and the locust is also a warning. Even the Quran says that. And the fact the flood happened while the pilgrim was ongoing and at the end of the fast locust invaded these places really calls for a sober reflection that something is wrong somewhere. And then in Revelation chapter 9 verse 3 the Bible says, Then locusts came down to the earth out of the smoke. They were given the power to sting like scorpions. They were told not to harm the grass on the earth or any plant or tree. They could harm only the people who did not have the sign of God on their foreheads. If these locusts were to invade somewhere else, Muslims would have agreed that it is indeed a warning or a judgment. But since this is a holy site and a holy month, they will never agree to that. God is sending humanity a warning, irrespective of their religion, to turn away from wickedness and follow the Lord. Jesus paid the price for your sins. There is no denying that there are many different beliefs and religions in the world, each with its own set of teachings and practices. However, as Christians, we believe that Jesus Christ is the only way to salvation. The Bible makes it clear that Jesus is the only way to God. In John 14, 6, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. This means that there is no other way to be reconciled to God except through faith in Jesus Christ. The reason why Jesus is the only way to salvation is because he is the only one who has paid the penalty for our sins. All of us have sinned and fallen short of God's glory. Romans chapter 3, 23. And the wages of sin is death. Romans 6, 23. This means that we deserve eternal separation from God because of our sin. However, God loves us so much that he sent his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for our sins. In 2 Corinthians 5, verse 21, we read, For he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in him. This means that Jesus took the punishment that we deserve so that we can be forgiven and reconciled to God. Moreover, Jesus' death and resurrection prove that he is the only way to salvation. In John 10, 17, 18, Jesus says, Therefore my Father loves me, because I lay down my life that I may take it again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This command I have received from my Father. Jesus' resurrection from the dead proves that he has power over sin and death, and that he is the only one who can offer us eternal life. It is important to note that believing in Jesus as the only way to salvation is not exclusive or narrow-minded. Rather, it is a recognition of the truth that God has revealed to us in his word. God loves all people and desires that all should come to repentance and faith in Jesus Christ. 2 Peter 3, 9. The invitation to believe in Jesus is open to everyone, regardless of their background or circumstances. In conclusion, Jesus Christ is the only way to salvation because he is the only one who has paid the penalty for our sins and has power over sin and death. Believing in Jesus is not exclusive or narrow-minded, but is a recognition of the truth that God has revealed to us. If you have not yet placed your faith in Jesus, we encourage you to do so today and experience the joy and peace that comes from being reconciled to God through him.